Welcome to Friday Fails dot dot dot. But boy. If you're new here, what we do is take subscriber submitted videos and break them down, usually their crashes, to hopefully keep you from falling or having an accident. That's what like my mom used to say, did you have an accident? Having any accidents or hurting yourself? So if you'd like to submit a video, we have a link down in the description below where you can shoot us a video. Make sure you're subscribed if you do that. We show love to the people that show love to us. So let's get right into the first one. Who is it? It's Corey Stahl. This is my buddy. Sire, at Riverdale Raceway in Washington, overshooting a 70-foot table, landing flat, still got up like a champ after dislocating his shoulder, <laughs> racking his nuts, and busting his chin open. Let me know what you think. Man. Sounds like my kind of friend. Nah. Tough. All right, this is a Snapchat video. Here we go. Oh, it looks like some Washington dirt there. Yeah, it looks nice and wet. Too much sauce, too much sauce. Oh, oh. Wow, he really jumped far. Man, did he have the visor that, off the of the view. helmet for look aerodynamic view. purposes? Let's back it up, because we got to check out the visor before we do anything. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, honestly, the form off the jump face and over the jump was pretty good. Especially in cowboy boots. Oh no, those are dirt bike boots. Bullet head though. Woo! I mean, it looks like he's jumped it before. Yeah. He may have borrowed someone's bike that was a 450 and he used to jump in on a 252 stroke. I feel like this guy typically rides 252 strokes. Could be, could be. And that's probably where you went wrong. You got off the two stroke, man. You can't get off the two stroke. When you don't have a visor, you only ride two strokes. It's all about four strokes. No, it's not. You ride a two stroke. It's just two strokes are awesome. I'm trying to keep the awesomeness for myself. Yeah, right on. Well, here's what we're gonna tell you about this one. You went too fast. I mean, the form wasn't horrible. You didn't do anything out of the ordinary that's like we could break down super hard, but you just gotta go a little slower. Time to jump a little more. I would say do the old halfway, three quarter way clear. You know what I mean? Jump it halfway, jump it three quarters, then clear it. Maybe you didn't do that because you went one and three quarters. You went one and three quarters, you get that? One and three quarters. Yeah, he jumped one full one and, and three, quarters three quarters of another. Okay, all right, we're yeah. getting crazy with the fractions here. Yeah, a lot of fractions here. So you want to back it down three quarters and land on the one. See, your parents should be making sure that they're letting their kids watch this. We're teaching math. It's good. It's good. And matter. no one's in school right now, so just come watch Friday Fails. Okay, yeah, just slow it down a little bit. Slow it down a little bit and put a visor on if you're gonna ride a four stroke. Okay, so. I got a little something special for you guys. If you want to see, the, if you love these these Friday Fails videos enough to see them early, become a Patreon of ours. We release these videos a couple days early, sometimes more than a couple days early, so you can see them before everyone else does. We have a great Patreon family who's supporting the channel. We would love to have you in it. Check it out. Link in the description below. Gabe. Gabe didn't say one word no, by sending this no, video. No, he said sent from my iPhone. He's letting us know he's to oh, my iPhone. Oh, his iPhone. Sent from my iPhone. iPhone. To me, from you. Okay. All right, here we go, Gabe. Let's see what we got. Gabe Hoken. Gabe Hoken. Gabe Hoken. All right, Hoken. Dirt looks good. Looks to be wintry. Wintry. There's no leaves on the trees. It's going pretty fast. What's he doing? Oh! Oh, that was rad. Oh, oh a daggum fender dude, fell right off. Fender broke off. It fell, it fell right off. Man, that'll ruin a good day of riding. So let's back it up here. When he's coming at the jump, he's sitting down. That's the first no no. When he's landing on the jump, Woo! he's pretty much sitting that's down. That's where it went wrong. And not only that, he didn't jump on the jump. Yeah, yeah, he jumped off the jump there, man. You got to your front tire off the jump, your back tire on the jump. What kind of grind is he trying to do? This is a skateboarding, man. Uh, I mean, he could be a scooter rider. Could, could probably ride could scooters. Be a scooter rider. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to insult you like that, man. Actually, scooter riders are pretty gnarly. People will take that serious, and then all of a sudden, I'll be getting my shins hit with a bunch of scooters. <laughs> yeah, that would hurt so bad. 
I've actually hit my shame with a Razor scooter before. It's terrible. I still have the scar. Hey. You guys want to see it? Real quick, you guys. <laughs> Dallas <laughs> Supercross 2020. This dude's coming through the tunnel doing well over 30 100. miles per hour. No helmet, no gear. Crashes right in front of about 30 people. I want to know how far I skidded. Skid? Skidded? Is that the right I word? I think so. Skidded. 78 feet. <laughs> skidded 78 feet. I... I had to have been going 35. Yeah, was... So fast that I was scared for my life. Honestly, because there was no like jumping off and slowing down because you just jumped off and splatted on your face. It was only full commit to the bottom and I mistimed my bunny hop over the drainage and landed right in it. It was rough. Now we're getting a breakdown of Tyler's crash. This is why we get no work done around here because I started yeah. talking about scooters and here we are at Dallas. That's why we fast. only have 34 Friday fails and not 134. All right, so yeah, you just sat down off the face and you take a little more time to develop some good technique. We do have videos for that. Make sure you check that out. And then also make sure you're going in line with the marks that you see going up the jump. Likely your line went left when everyone else's was going right. So pay attention to what the track's telling you. A lot of times it's, it's solving a lot of the problems for you as far as the directions go. Uh, other than that, it's hard to tell that we could do much more of a breakdown. We're gonna watch it one more time here. Looks like you're just getting out there, so kudos to having the courage to get out on the track and uh, give it your best. Trying to clear the jumps. That bog sounded like it's about an 07 CRF 250. Yeah, that looks like it had dual exhaust on it. Yeah, it's an 07 CRF 250. I had a couple of those. That bog's horrible, but hey, it's a good bike. Other Great handling bike. Yeah, Great handles chassis. like a champ. Other than when you jump off the jumps. Sideways. All right, we're moving on to Lawrence's Wood. Lawrence Wood! Why do you have to yell at us? Why is your name in all caps, Lawrence? Hi, I'm Lawrence Wood. I was hitting these doubles, these double doubles at Mars MX, and I have hit these double doubles at least 30 or 40 times and made it all of them except twice. Mars, isn't that in Texas? Isn't that nah, in West man, Texas? That's, that's where uh, Elon Musk rides. Oh, oh. Yeah. I had two gnarly crashes because I lost power in the bike. Bad case, and this one was probably my worst crash because I got a sprained foot. The and whole foot sprained? Or just the ankle, and a concussion. Shout out to my boy, Fernie. That's a girl, I don't know if you know her. She's a singer, Fernie. Fernie. No, that's Fergie. Fergie. That's different, that's oh, different. Yeah. All right, here we go, play. It's dark. Double, double. That'll teach you to ride a two-stroke. 125s, man. Man, they ain't got no power. No power. All right, so let's back that up. Look how pretty these flowers yeah, are. Yeah, I'm still thinking Mars. I think that's my that looks Texas, like Mars, man. Or New Mexico or something. Let's see. So the guy in front of you got a little scared too. But I'm just trying to see if we can catch you coming off the jump here, which no. we can. Uh, it sounded like you chopped the throttle a little bit. Here's my tip on jumps like this. When the landing's real long like that and rolled out, and you've got a landing that's pretty deep, just hit it as fast as you can. It's always better to go long than short, unless you're that one guy without the visor from Friday Fields. Is that this episode? I can't remember anymore. Is that the last episode? That was episode 33. Make sure you check that guy out. No, that was the first. No, that was the first guy. Make sure you check. That's episode 34, <laughs> the first guy. Make sure you check that. It's been a long day, guys. Been a long day. Okay, moving back on. You gotta hit the jump a little faster so you don't case it sideways. You got anything else? Hey, I always say it's better to go a little long than a little short on most jumps. When in doubt, throttle out. That's pretty much what I always say. <laughs> <laughs> you got a problem? Give it more gas. That's what Cody said. Now, honestly, you know, seriously, we're trying to have a little fun here and uh, your crash just happens to be the one that we're doing that on. So sorry for not giving you much information. Uh, yeah, I think it's just, you can't break down a crash that you can't see. Yeah, we need to see the face of the jump to really know what you did wrong there. Which we did see the face of the jump and it has a little kicker on it. And what I heard is that you let off the throttle and maybe you let off the throttle right before that and it didn't get the pop that it needed because you're a lot lower than the guy before. And you cleared the jump before, like he cleared the jump. So something tells me there is a little bit of a lack of commitment there. So you maybe saw that kicker and or you hit a, part, a different part of the jump and let off. Either way, when we case jumps, nine times out of 10, we're not loading the bike correctly and we're not committed to the throttle. So that's gonna be my wild guess on this one. I'm glad you're okay though, I really am. I'm glad you're riding on Mars too. I'd like to go up there with you one day and uh, ride those rocket ships and stuff. 
right? You too? Yeah, oh yeah, I love Mars. Yeah, big fan. Big Mars, fan. you know, Mars has water. Not, you can't tell by this track, but definitely has water. Yeah, that's frozen water, that's why. It's a little cold up there, but. All right, anyways, moving on. We got uh, one more here. Hope you can stick around with us on this episode. It's gonna be a little long, We've been doing a little extra talking, so uh, here we go. Going back to our emails here, we got a little bit of a process. We haven't come up with a better one yet. So. Here's my crash for Friday fails. Uh, so basically what happened was a kid on a KTM hit my shifter. So I had to get off the track to fix it. So I was a lap behind <clears throat> and I was really going fast, but I didn't realize how fast I was going. There's a lot of commas in here. And I fell into a hill full of rocks and broke my wrist. I don't know if you can give me any tips on this, but I just wanted to, I just wanted it on Friday fails. Here you are. I tried braking, but I couldn't in time. And in the video, you can also see my handlebars get the death wobble and I lost control. There wasn't much I could do. I don't think you can break this one down, but I just wanted it on Friday fails. That's the end. Uh, my Instagram is jetsp33d and that's the same as my YouTube. Do you mind giving me a shout out? He's not saying any of this. I'm, I'm narrating for him but he's got some stuff on here, giving me some notes. So go ahead and follow him on all the good stuff. All right, let's watch this video of Caleb. Uh, he knows that we can't break anything down. He just wants to be famous. So here we go. All right. Whoa, Caleb, oh. whoa, Caleb. Whoa, uh, oh! Man, you're crashing a bad spot. And whoever man. was filming you really loves you. They're like, well, you know what? Go! They're running for you. Hold on, look at this. Hold on, let's just take a quick break and admire the flagger stands. Texas Umbrellas. needs to take some notes here. Umbrellas. Wherever you're at, where do you say he was at? He didn't say, did he? Umbrellas are keeping the flagger scenes nice and cool. I like what you're doing here. You got a head shake. It looks like the front end is a little extra loaded, but we're gonna back it up just to watch it one more time. His body position is pretty good. Yeah. It makes me think that he hit like a rut a little crooked or. Yeah, looks like... yeah he... man. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Real simple, but you always go where you look. So I think maybe looking on the track would be a good start. <laughs> Sorry, I know that sounds mean, but it's just, I've been there where you're like panicking, you're like, oh, but you're looking off the track, so that's where you go. Well, he was sitting down, so I found the root of the problem. It's way back in the beginning. You see it through the bushes oh, yeah, here? yeah, he's sitting there. Sitting down, coming down a hill, so you're gaining speed into bumps, not in good position, not weighting the bike correctly where the suspension works the best that it possibly can. Even if it works bad, if your body weight's in a good position, usually you can avoid head shake. Now there are some setup tips that you could, that you could uh, definitely implement to avoid some head shake, making the front end longer by dropping the forks, maybe speeding the rebound up so it's not packing and starting to get, you know, kind of twitchy on you. But let's just watch it one more time just for fun because it's kind of cool seeing you go in these bushes. Here we go. Where's my mouse? All right. In the bushes! Man, Man dude, that was like a long a fall down is there. Is it a cliff? Was it a cliff? Looked like it. Man, are you okay? Broken wrist. Is he okay? Broken wrist. I hope he's okay. Read the email, man. I Broken read wrist. it. I read it. Do you remember all the you comments? read it real slow. You must have been homeschooled. No, I was, on, I was home learned. <laughs> I don't appreciate you call it schooling because it was never schooling. Okay, all right, so yeah, I think that just being in good position when you're coming down that hill, when you see bumps like that, a lot of times it's nice to get on the throttle a little bit. And here's a little more of an advanced technique is if you get on the throttle and drag the back brake a little, it kind of plants the bike to the ground and it'll help you avoid a little bit of that twitchiness and head shake. So next time you go through a, a part of the track like that, you might be a little uncertain of, a little back brake, a lot of throttle. That way the bike's driving forward, but it's also squatting the bike down when you hit the back brake and planting it to the ground and it's not bouncing around and getting all twitchy on you. Another thing is, don't just ride your bike in the bushes, man. Just stay on track. Don't quit going in the bushes. What the bushes do to you? All right, guys, we're done with this video. If you liked it, we got plenty more videos over here. Don't forget to check out our Instagram. So much cool stuff going on our Instagram, at the MX Factor. Can you put that for them? Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you check out our Patreon account. We got cool stuff going there. Early releases of these videos. Check it out. See you next time.